found art, it's got to be found. Um, like taking bits, when I found the bicycle in the Liffey, and uh, then I went and I looked again and I found bits of the Hapney Bridge. Communicating uh, visual arts um, using the front of the house and the, the premises as a platform for contemporary visual arts. The, um, the whole idea of recycling and using, you know, cleaning up the environment using uh, foreign objects like in a river where you see a bicycle, the, it's, it's an activity more so than uh, anything else where uh, the river is polluted by foreign objects like traffic cones or bicycles or whatever in industrial you know, uh, types of machinery like washing machines, household items, televisions. People just want to get rid of it and dump it in. It's a pretty ignorant thing. Then if you take it out and you turn it into something that's where you question, where people question what it is it was, like it was, like, like a bicycle and you transform it into a, a statement of, on visual arts and recycling. Uh, the need to recycle by using a, a cycle, a bicycle, and turning it around, uh, profounding the, you know, the, the skeptics, where, you, where something is a, at a maximum um, waste, and you take it to the maximum use. I find them the basic materials uh, in skips, or in, like I say, I take stuff out of the Liffey. It's not really very uh, well known in Ireland. It's, you know, like, I mean, art in general is a very marginalised in industry where very rich people get more rich without paying tax. But there's a poor side to it, starving artist uh, out there as well who's just determined to succeed. The granite piece comes, uh, it was a, uh, a bollard, a, a granite bollard that was protecting a, a cast iron pipe down at the back of where the, it was a museum. When I painted the bubblegum, um, the corporation came under some kind of pressure from uh, various sources as to who painted the bubblegum and it became a a uh, topic of conversation in the media. On the radio, people started to notice, started to talk about it. Attempts were made to clean it up. And, well, I painted it for about two years, and then I got, I got caught by the guards, stopped me one day, and they, uh, I got fined 100 euro in the circuit court. The type of art that was like you'd see on television, like Dale or Picasso, they would have been the first influences. Besides my dad, he would have been a bit of an influence as well. I grew up with art around me, so I mean, it's a part of my lifestyle. It's it's not exactly a, a great income earner. <laughs>